Luis Inacio Lula da Silva has achieved a remarkable political comeback by regaining the presidency of Brazil. Lula is now set for a third term, 12 years after ending his second term as an unusually popular president who achieved both economic growth and social inclusion between 2003 and 2010. With his victory, the talk of a pink tide is washing through Latin America once more, after years when the left-wing movement was thought to have been lost at sea. However, his government will have an uphill battle. Government coffers are emptier than they were when Lula was last president. Large increases in the minimum wage, which Lula appeared to commit to during the campaign, are likely to push up inflation, currently running around 7%. Productivity remains stagnant, and industry, which has shrunk as a share of the overall economy, is internationally uncompetitive in many sectors. Lula faces political challenges too. The extreme right wing Jair Bolsonaro may have lost the presidency, but many of his allies have won powerful political positions around the country. Five of his former ministers won places in the Senate, where Bolsonaro's Liberal Party has the biggest block of seats. Bolsonaro may have to leave the presidency, but Bolsonarismo is not going anywhere. For now, the future of one of the world's largest democracies and the Amazon rainforest lies in the hands of Lula. Log on to business-standard.com for more news, views and insights.